station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Sandra Jones. This week, a cargo craft departed the space station, NASA and SpaceX target October for the next Crew Dragon launch, and students heading back to class can celebrate station science with a new website. On Tuesday, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency's HTV-9 cargo vehicle departed from the International Space Station. NASA astronaut and Expedition 63 Commander Chris Cassidy used the Canada Arm 2 to release HTV-9, ending its three-month stay in space after delivering four tons of supplies and experiments to the orbiting laboratory, including lithium-ion batteries used to recently upgrade the station's power systems. October is shaping up to be a busy travel month on the International Space Station. On Wednesday, October 14th, Soyuz MS-17 is scheduled to blast off from Baikonur with NASA astronaut Kate Rubens and her Russian crewmates to begin their six-month stay on station. One week later, Chris Cassidy, Yvonne Wagner, and Anatoly Ivanishin will end their 195-day stay in space and land on the steppes of Kazakhstan. Following that landing, and now scheduled for no earlier than October 23rd, NASA astronauts Michael Hopkins, Victor Glover, and Shannon Walker, and JAXA astronaut Soichi Noguchi will launch from Florida on the first of a regular rotation of missions to the space station aboard the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. We are celebrating 20 years of continuous human occupancy aboard the International Space Station this year and recently launched a website full of theme-based resources for students and educators. This month's theme is Back to School and features opportunities and resources for celebrating station science as the start of a new school year begins. You can participate from anywhere. Visit our website at nasa.gov backslash STEM backslash ISS20 and check it out. This week's question comes from nine-year-old Thomas, who wants to know if the International Space Station is falling or orbiting. Well, Thomas, the International Space Station is actually doing both. Earth's gravity is constantly pulling objects downward toward the surface, including the space station. As a result, the space station is constantly falling toward Earth's surface. However, it also is moving at a very fast speed, about 17,500 miles per hour. The space station moves at a speed that matches the way Earth's surface curves, so because of this, the spacecraft keeps falling toward the ground but never hits it. As a result, it falls in orbit around the planet. The moon stays in orbit around Earth for the same reason. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space.